But first, an operation to reduce crime in Orange County is well underway, but now questions about whether that crackdown is actually doing enough. Operation Rise started in December, but a new push is underway after a rough weekend in the Pine Hills neighborhood. News 6 reporter Nadine Yanis joins us now live from Orange County. And Nadine, the crime numbers for April were just startling. They were, and it was after one particularly deadly weekend in April where three people were shot and killed within 48 hours that kind of kicked off this new push. The sheriff saying that Monday he realized they needed to double down on getting crime results, so they doubled down on what they're calling a violent crime initiative. And I want you to take a look at some of the statistics that they got just from that first week of April. They made 326 arrests total, uh, arrests, uh, confiscated 13 stolen vehicles, 68 different narcotics, and got five firearms off the streets. And Sheriff Jerry Demings today said that this crime crackdown is far from over. In fact, they just recovered a stolen car this morning that had a loaded shotgun in it. The sheriff says his deputies have logged nearly 1,700 hours since the beginning of April, just in three weeks, targeting high crime areas in Pine Hills and targeting repeat offenders, saying many of those that were arrested are committing crimes all over the county, even linking them to crimes in our tourist districts like right on International drive the sheriff today saying that they are getting crime results and they're not stopping anytime soon listen to this message he has for any suspect out there that if we haven't gotten you yet uh, in the very near future we're coming after you we are not backing off we're going to stay focused on this effort for uh, the immediate future so this violent crime initiative is part of an overall picture for across the county. It's not just Operation Rise, but they're overlapping each other because those that were arrested, again, are connected to crimes all across Orange County. Still, the sheriff says because he's reaching those particular offenders, that crime overall in the county is down by 15 percent in this quarter alone compared to last year. So we're going to hear more about what the sheriff has to say. I'm going to break down some of these numbers. I'm also going to speak to Bishop Kelvin Cobain. He's a community activist who's uh, well involved in the Pine Hills area. We're going to ask him if he thinks this is actually working. All of that in my story tonight at 6 o'clock. Ladies, back to you. All right, Nadine Giannis, we'll see you again at 6. Thank you.